What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over the market Pretty much um, empty methods, market talk, all that good stuff. So before we get into the video, man, if you guys want to follow my Twitter, we're going to run a 100,000 empty giveaway very, very soon. So I would suggest go following the Twitter just because we are going to do a giveaway. And yes, I'm going to go over some of my investments, some investments I did end up selling. So uh, let's get into it, guys. If you don't know, uh, on this channel, we pretty much just talk about market and whatnot. So we're pretty much going to get right into it. What MT methods I've been doing, and um, they've been working out pretty, pretty well. So we're going to start off, man. Kawhi Leonard has dropped in value, actually. So if I were you, I would recommend not selling him just yet. If if you did invest in him. So some cards you should not sell. Some cards you should sell. One card you should definitely sell is James Harden. He's up to 26,000 MT. He's definitely worth the sell. As you guys can see, I have had a lot of Kawhi Leonard's. I got all of them for 19K. So if you do the math, I'm only going to make around 2,000 MT per uh, Kawhi Leonard. So right now, we are waiting a little bit longer, okay? So right now, man, um, my easiest coin method is by far sniping these car, uh, these Amethyst 20s. And as you guys can see, I'm throwing up one of my Hardens up for 26,000 MT because we got to make some MT. We got this one for 18,000 MT. He's going for 26,000 MT. If you do do that um, right there, it's around 4,000 MT made. So hopefully he does sell. We're waiting for him to go up now let's talk about pricing let's talk about kobe let's talk about this let's talk about that so kobe bryant man if you guys don't know one of the most expensive cards in the game he was going for around 100,000 mt not too long ago he's down to 89,000 mt my prediction of uh, sometime this week he'll probably rise right back up to 100,000 mt as you guys can see there's not a lot of kobe's up here so if you are if you do have kobe's i would recommend holding on to them and whatnot and uh yeah we're pretty much just gonna go over some empty methods now we're also gonna go over pricing a little bit more a lot of people were asking me should i invest in some of these cars because i think they'll go up well let's look at diamond alonzo morning his price continues to drop do i think his value goes up to be honest it's very possible but do i think he's worth it here's why i do not think it's worth it well in my opinion he's not one of the best centers in the game in my opinion I have Artist Gilmore for free, who I think is better because he is taller. Artist Gil, I mean, Alonzo Mourning is very short, okay? Comparing Alonzo Mourning to Kristaps Porzingis, here's what I get out of it. So, Kristaps Porzingis is an amethyst, okay? He also could shoot the ball. He's also a lot taller. In my opinion, Alonzo Mourning is not worth the investment. I think he is too... Oh, wow. Oh, wait a second. Hopefully, that's still there, unless the auction house glitch. And I also sold Curry for 37900 which is kind of insane because I got that curry for 20,000 MT and I made around 15,000 MT profit. But yo, I'm comparing Kristaps Porzingis to Alonzo Mourning. Okay. Now this Kristaps card, 40,000 MT. Okay. He's seven foot three. He's way better than Alonzo Mourning just because of his height. And he also could spread the floor. So in my opinion, I do not think Alonzo Mourning is worth it. Kristaps Porzingis is definitely the guy. We're also going to go over some other cards, man. If you guys do know, Michael Jordan is already in this game. We got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And uh, honestly, I think their price does go up a little bit more. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was around 38K. He is up in value to 50,000 MT. So if you guys do have Kareem, I would probably end up selling him, man. It's an amethyst. It's a 90 overall. It's definitely not worth the hold. Um, same with MJ, man. Let's check out his price. MJ's up a ton. I got mine for 68K. I ended up selling him for 82K. And it looks like MJ's around 83,500. So if I were you, you should probably sell MJ as well. Honestly, a lot of cards are worth selling. I think the only card that isn't worth selling right now is literally Kawhi Leonard. I think that's the only card that's not worth selling. Every single card, every other card, if you guys invested in Luis Scola, you got to give him a little bit more time. But right now, man, it looks like Kevin Durant is up big time in value. Is that 36,000, 34,000 MT? So if you guys do have Kevin Durant, probably should sell him as soon as you can. I do have a Kevin Durant in my collection, so he will be getting sold right away. So pretty much the only cards you should not sell right now is looks like Kawhi Leonard. Then again, I think Wednesday might be a great day to sell. Friday, maybe not. But I mean, 
now friday you never sell usually thursday you sell so i mean thursday wednesday monday sunday are the days to sell with kevin durant going for twenty six thousand five hundred. He's definitely a great card to sell right now. I got this one for 18,000 MT. I'm going to make some pretty good pretty good profit off this card as well. This is probably your easiest way to make MT right here off these methods. So, now we got Hard up there for 259 and Kevin Durant up there for 26k. So, we got a lot of cards to sell, a ton of Kawhis, we got Giannis, we got a bunch of other cards to sell. So, guys, this method right here is going to make you the most MT simply investing on Fridays. Now, we're going to go over some snipe filters and some MT methods for you guys. The best one in the game by far to make quick MT is definitely your Ruby filter. This filter right here should make you easy, easy MT, quick, fast, and just quick. That's a snipe and we missed it. Patty Mills, another investment that has rose up a ton. He's up to over 3,000 MT because I don't think these cards are viable. Oh, maybe they are. So I just bought that for 3K MT. I say his price goes up to 4,000. Why do I say that? Well, his three-point shot and his jump shot. His jump shot reminds me of Dwayne Wade's last year. If you guys do know, that jump shot last year was incredible. And it's very similar to Dwayne Wade's. His price definitely goes up to around 3,500. I think I scooped up like two or three. Yeah, I, pick, I picked up like two or three for around 2,100 MT. So I'm going to make around 700 MT per and Luis Scola, I got a couple of them for 6,500, and I think his price does go up. I think he's a pretty solid power forward. As you guys can see, his price does, it didn't really go up too much, but I think his price definitely rises, man. He's got a great three-point shot, and uh, don't forget, all these cards, most of these guys were already bought out, so do not get fooled by the auction house glitch. Maybe 2K does fix it up. Overall, right now, is it a good time to sell? Honestly, most cards are pretty good to sell. It seems like the market is definitely dropping in value day by day by day. The diamond, the cheapest diamond by far is Alonzo Morning. So if you guys want to get your hands on a diamond for cheap, Alonzo Morning's your guy. And I definitely do not think his price does go up in value. And let's check out one card before we do end this video. We got Manu Ginobili. So let's go over this card quick. And uh, the other day, man, there was one for 75K and 100K and I didn't have any MT. But uh, honestly, I'd say his price does rise just because he is in this idle set. So I definitely see his price rising very, very soon. But other than that, man, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Make sure to like a video. That would be greatly appreciated, man. But yeah, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to be up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.